Welcome back everybody. Do you all like deviled eggs? Because I love them, I like making them, and we are totally stepping them up a notch today, and we are using some uh, leftover brisket in them. You need eggs. And the way I like to hard boil my eggs is to put them in the pot, add cold water, and then when they start boiling, start the timer from then for like 10 or 12 minutes. You don't need to worry about poking them or do adding anything weird or crazy. There we go. That's all we're going to do today. And uh, let's get some water on them. Trusty hose. Now we're just going to go a little bit above them. Get you on here. Turn you on and turn you up nice and hot. Get you going. Okay, it's almost there and then we're gonna start the timer. They are done. Now we're gonna drain them, cool them down and get to peeling. Anyways, I'm going to finish these off and uh, get to the filling then. So all I do is take the knife, run it all the way around the best I can. Split it open. And take out the yolk. And save the whites. Okay, I'm going to finish this and then you're probably wondering how I'm going to incorporate the brisket into the filling. Hang on, I'm going to show you. Well, you know me, I love saving my uh, leftover brisket because there's just so many things you can do with it and this is just something I've come up with and it's fantastic. So we're just going to break it down a little bit smaller first. Leave that here. And we are going to use this little mini food processor. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's beautiful. It just works. So we're gonna take some of the brisket. I know I'm trying not to get both hands dirty here. And we're gonna chop it down. It's not a paste. It's it's crazy. It's almost like a, a powder almost. Not quite, but it's really, 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 really fine. And that's gonna blend in with the yolks to make a beautiful filling. I'm just gonna mash these down a little bit just to help mix and get a nice smooth filling add as much or as little as you want I'm gonna go pretty generous because this is a brisket deviled egg beautiful put that to the side oh look at that mm. I wish you guys could smell this because you know the, the brisket right now and I'm going to use a real mayo, Hellman's. I'm going to start with that and see if we need more. Because you can always add more. It's always very hard to make things uh, go away if you add too much. So I'm going to stir this for a little bit, get it nice and smooth and uh, to where I want it and then we're going to fill them up. But before I go too far, I'm going to give it a quick taste. No. 
cayenne is your friend. You don't need to add a lot, but you really want it to help liven up the flavors. You, it's, you don't want it to be hot. Just a touch, just a touch. And I gotta add a bit of salt because uh, just wasn't. Now, if you don't have a piping bag, just take a Ziploc bag and it works just as good and it's disposable. I'm not actually going to close the top because I want the air to go out. So there we go. But what we're going to do, I want them on a prettier surface here. And now just cut the, the corner of the bag. Make sure you get the piece of plastic. And uh, away you go. I'm not putting anything green on. I'm actually gonna take some of that other brisket and sprinkle that on. How about that for a garnish, people? Brisket on brisket on brisket, I love it. Okay, that's pretty. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just gonna take one, doesn't matter. Oh, mm. If you want good deviled eggs, oh my God, do this. That is fantastic. Usually people think of deviled eggs are very plain, very generic. Oh my God, take your leftover brisket and do this. Or even a pot roast or roast or whatever, if you have something, take it and do this. Oh my God, that is so good. Thanks everybody for watching this. It's so tasty. I'm like, you have to try this. Uh, it's a great way to use a, use your leftover brisket or pot roast, whatever. Like I said, use it all, try it, experiment, have fun with your food, and you're gonna end up with something like this. And your guests will love it and want more. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, you know, do your thing. Leave me some comments, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and happy eating.